I wanted to show you a little bit about how to do the seaming in the Tetra blanket because I'm asking you to do gra grafting but instead of doing stockinette grafting which is what you do in sock toes where it's knit stitches on both sides and there's live stitches on both sides I'm asking you to do garter stitch grafting and in fact one side has live stitches and one side is a selvage edge and you can see this is garter stitch grafting by the fact that there is no ridge here and there is a ridge over here so you are creating purl stitches here and that's how you're getting your ridge and now how do we do this? Um, this particular block was knit bottom to top going that way this block was knit bottom to top coming this way so this is the right hand selvage edge, this is actually the right side selvage edge, the beginning of the right side rows and the way the pattern works is that you have one stitch for each garter ridge so it's one to one, it's very handy that way and I have chosen to use this little bump right here that's where I'm going to get into. So what I need to do is I need to basically create a purl stitch in this stitch and have that purl stitch connect to my selvage edge. And here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to start by going down into the stitch and that's what's creating my purl, my purl bump then I'm going to go down into the old spot which is right there and I'm going to come up in my new spot which is this little bump right here so that's how I connect it to the selvage and then I come back up in the stitch to finish off making it a purl stitch. So that's how you work your graft. Now the hardest part of any grafting I think is getting started so let me show you just a little bit about how to deal with that. Okay so here is here is a starting edge ready to go and I've even done the first half stitch. I've taken I've taken the thread and gone down. Okay, so what I need to do though is I need I need a down and then an up. I know I want to come up in this bump, but I need a down first. And what I did is I yank on this and you can see that little spot right there. So what I've done is I've gone down and sort of retraced Red's path. So I've done a big down and then I'll do up here. And then I'll come back and do up in the stitch. And that's how I'll get started. And in fact, here's another edge that I've already done. And you can see how that corner is good and solid and tight. So that works really well. Now the last thing you'll have to worry about is when you get to the center of the blanket, you'll have all four seams meet. And it'll be sort of, you know, sort of this kind of thing where you've got to have one to finish the other. So bring your four seams to the center. You'll be able to knit all but the last half stitch of each. And then when they're all together and you've got all four, you can kind of overlap them and bring things to a close. So just remember your rhythm is down, down, up, up. And you'll be able to get through this just fine. And you'll never be afraid of grafting again.